Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. Catch us on YouTube, Instagram, TV, all that great stuff. Here at my buddy Cleo. But today I wanna to talk about successful projects, how to keep a project on track, and how to keep clients from sabotaging themselves and just kind of shooting them in the foot. You know, it's a lot like a baseball team. You know, you could do everything perfectly and then when your relief pitching comes in and blow the game for you, you shoot yourself in the foot. A lot of times what we see is we need certain things from clients in order to be successful, especially in the nonprofit world. We need certain assets. We need certain verbiage. We need certain, you know, messaging, you know, that we can be pushed in the right direction. And then what we can do is we can run with that and execute the strategy. You know, first off, if we deliver a strategy and you pay us to deliver a strategy, please read the strategy so that we can all be on the same page from there. But what happens is when that's not even read or and then when nothing else is delivered and everything stalls and momentum stalls, what ends up happening is the campaign, you know, the initiative, the project is doomed because it's sabotaged because we don't have what we need to get things done. So what do you do about that? One, you have to make sure that your expectations of the client and of your team are realistic. You have to make sure that your expectations are realistic and then communicated. You have to make sure that you have true buy-in from everybody. If you get buy-in from the organization and the client that you're working with, they'll typically do anything for you. I find that a lot of times when we see that, you know, clients are sabotaging projects and it's not on purpose. They just self-sabotage because they shoot themselves on the foot because they don't know any better. We see that there's not 100% buy-in. So in order to keep projects on track, in order to go ahead and make sure that you are as successful as you possibly can, make sure you get buy-in, make sure your expectations are realistic and make sure your expectations are communicated. Hey, thanks for checking us out. Post, we'll keep posting more of these videos, post some more bonus podcasts. We're coming back with full length podcasts very, very soon, soon, soon as the world sort of normals out. But we definitely are planning on picking up the new marketing show and running with it again. So until next time, see you guys later.